so what I want to talk to you about is the coming technological singularity. I want to talk to you about transhumanism. I want to talk to you about the coming human enhancement revolution. Today we have a very special guest, Tom Horn. We're going to talk about his book, Forbidden Gates. They are being advised by some of the top think tanks in the world. If we weren't secretly, privately ahead of the human enhancement revolution, we would fall irreparably behind. Well, what about the ethics of this? Will these people be considered humans? Will they be considered equal to us? What I want to know is why you'd let a wacko like Tom Horn come on your program to discuss transhumanism anyway. This guy's point of view is so obviously skewed by his bible thumping background. How could anybody take this guy seriously? Tom Horn is back in the news again at Wired Magazine, addressing the coming human enhancement revolution. DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It's one of the large departments of the U.S. They have set aside millions of dollars for rewriting the DNA of our soldiers. I've often told people that uh, Tom Horn is one of the more interesting uh, theological interpreters of transhumanism in the country. Very smart guy, although I'm pretty sure he's crazy. What is transhumanism? It is the idea that we are going to use technology now to create a new version of ourselves. What the transhumanists have in mind is something very fundamental, the, the basic revision of human beings. We might be creating humans that would be barely recognizable as the humans we see on the street today, and they'd be thought of as superior. The technological singularity not only means a time when computers outsmart human cognition, it's a time when humans have an opportunity to employ the various technologies that will build these smart machines and add them to our own bodies. It is extremely dangerous for someone to interconnect his nervous system with a machine that is relatively boundless in its limits. There are technologies that are being employed now that most people think are 100 years away. They're not. They, they exist now. It is a loss of ethics in the current sense. It is looking at human beings as fodder. We don't treat human beings as experiments. You have the right to enhance your body, live longer, adjust your, your physical makeup and your performance, and those who do not want to enhance ought never to be coerced to enhance. What will we become? In a few generations, where will mankind be? Will we really be human anymore?